Live from the world's capital markets, here are the financial headlines brought to you by Vantage. Hello and welcome to Daily Financial Outlook. Stay with us for more market headlines. Gold rose over 1% on Friday after a US inflation data cemented prospects of a rate cut next month, restraining the dollar below recent highs, while safe haven demand stemming from the geopolitical tensions in the Middle East also lifted bullion. The S&P 500 and the Dow scored record closing highs on Friday, with the big boosts from financial stocks after banks reported strong quarterly results, while the latest inflation data fueled expectations for a US Federal Reserve rate cut in November. Oil prices settled lower on Friday but rose for the second straight week as investors weighed factors such as possible supply disruptions in the Middle East and Hurricane Milton's impact on fuel demand in Florida. Brent crude oil futures settled down 0.45%. The pound-dollar pair traded sideways in the last session. According to the Williams indicator, we are in an oversold market. The last session saw the Bitcoin drop 0.9% against the dollar. According to the stochastic RSI, we are in an overbought market. The euro-dollar pair traded sideways in the last session. The RSI is giving a negative signal. The oil-dollar pair saw a minor dip of 0.1% in the last session. The stochastic indicator is giving a positive signal. Finland's consumer price index will be released at 5 GMT, China's exports at 3 GMT, China's imports at 3 GMT. China's trade balance USD, will be released at 3 GMT, China's FDI at 9 GMT, Korea's trade balance at 23.55 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Monday's financial review. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.